Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from Mike over at Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. FirstNet AT&T face fire from Federal Inspector General. So this is going to get interesting. This is this could be a bigger problem down the line for AT&T in regards to 4.9 and maybe even the overall FirstNet contract in itself. So the Commerce Department's Office of the, of the Inspector General issued three reports critical of AT&T and FirstNet, a move that gives ammunition to Verizon and T-Mobile and others opposed to FirstNet getting access to 4.9. So a series of new reports from the U.S. Department of Commerce Office of the, of the Inspector General, OIG, raises questions about FirstNet's network for public safety users, which is managed by AT&T. So just to briefly summarize what the what the OIG concerns are, they're pretty much saying that FirstNet is not really offering adequate coverage using the band 14 spectrum. So that's that's just an issue across, you know, most of at least the military bases and, and, and whatever they, they are offering on government property. AT&T lacks site density. You know, the, the band 14 is fine. But it's just in some cases, if the site density is not there and the spacing is too wide, I mean, band 14 can only handle so much. So that's that's more of a material issue. They have to actually deploy to get that fixed. So we'll read out that briefly here. So OIG's concerns, the Commerce Department Department's OIG is essentially the agency's ombudsman or whatever that is. Specifically, specifically, it is authorized to conduct investigations and audits to promote economy, efficiency, and effectiveness, to give, to give you guys a brief overview. So, across three separate reports, the OIG argued that FirstNet didn't properly track AT&T's coverage and didn't provide adequate coverage for first responders using FirstNet's Band 14 spectrum. As a result, FirstNet modified its coverage requirements so that AT&T's network could meet FirstNet's coverage targets, according to reports. So again, you know, they're kind of, you know, some some will say fake it till you make it. But, you know, AT&T's coverage map is clearly overstated. So FirstNet is a federal entity charged with building a nationwide wireless network for public safety agencies, police, firefighters and others using around six point five billion and 20 megahertz of unused 700 band 14 spectrum, AT&T won the first net contract in 2017 and, and pledged to construct a network using that spectrum within five years. So that's that's the main concern. It's just, you know, not having the adequate coverage. If it's, you know, in the private sector, government, whatever, it seems that AT&T is not providing adequate coverage using the band 14 now. The FCC has approved a, a, a drive test. So, you know, throughout the year, we, we might see that come out in even more reports. So at and is saying they have the largest native coverage footprint in the United States, States using those assets. Well, the OIGs are, are pushing back and saying that that's pretty much not true, that there isn't adequate amounts of coverage. So we'll see how this plays out. This could also be an issue for the 4.9 situation, pretty much saying that all carriers should get some of that spectrum for first responders. So in some cases where AT&T doesn't have coverage or adequate coverage, the others could help as well. You know, and, and, and by adequate, you could also put that into perspective. Like, yes, AT&T may have some some cell edge fringe coverage, but it's not working right because it's congested. It's. There's not enough bandwidth. So, yes, it could show signal, which is what AT&T might even reflect on the coverage map, but it doesn't work, right? That's something that I stated during Sprint when they were on 3G moving to LTE. It was 5x5. Five five. Data consumption started picking up. Sprint phones, I mean, turned into a paperweight. You had five bars of LTE in some areas on band 25, 5x5, five five, and you couldn't load a thing because of congestion and high usage. So that is something that you could also reference here with the band 14 situation. Yes, band 14 could reach 
could be a sell edge situation, but because of the bandwidth, it's not, you know, it's not 20 by 20, 30 by 30, it's only, it's only 10 by 10, right? So now it, it might not meet the, meet the requirements of the mission or what's needed by the first responder. So let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you think this could be an issue for at t somewhere down the line. Let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.